right here are people we have Latoya Forever What's representing good? for Toronto yep. and all over. Sure. One of the dopest black girls I know from yep. Toronto. Beautiful to have you here today. Oh, thank you. How has your experience so far? It's been great. Like, it's first of all, I woke up super early to be here, six o'clock. What do you? I, got? That I, is not. I was already girl, in the car. Six o'clock is so early. So we got here around nine-ish o'clock. We had to get a hotel downtown because we live kind of like Bar. on the outskirts. Yeah. And saw Grant um, Cardone. He was amazing. 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 He's so inspiring and he just motivates me to want to just go out there and just continue just to kill it. it. You know just, what I'm saying? Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been great. I can't wait to see Charlemagne the God. He's yeah. hilarious. He's funny. Like, he Every keeps last. it 100% real. That's One what I last. love about him and I'm so like for that. So this morning getting ready. Kind of. What were you, listen <laughs> what were you listening to? What song? got you in the mood today to get ready and come down to be influenced? Honestly, like Cardi B always gets me in the mood. Really? Like twerking, like I'm always twerking, <laughs> I'm always rapping in the mirror by you myself. I know. What That's something I do thing? by myself. Like I'm pretty out there when it comes to like my content, but like when I am in Cardi the mirror B. rapping it, like, yeah, yeah, I want to hear Cardi Nobody B. Nobody can't tell you. They can't tell me nothing. Are you a Libra as well? Are you Libra no, 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 no. Oh. I'm an Aquarius. Okay, it's all good. Yeah. It's all good. We, we, yeah. we get so long. Yeah. Okay. Wait, so, do we? Yeah. Really? Okay. Aquarius okay. people, okay. Libra. Yeah. They vibe. Yeah, nice. You know, we have to find our balance. What it's month is scale. Libra? It's like se September-ish to like mid-October. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh, my daughter then is a Libra. You better love her. October 12th. Yeah, she definitely is. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. 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 She she's a big personality. She's so friendly. yes, you have kids. Um yeah. they love they have to be a part of what's happening. Yeah. Do you let them listen to music? What type of music do you let them listen to? Honestly, I come from a Caribbean background. I'm Trinidadian and so hey. like we listen to soca all day on a Sunday, <laughs> cooking chip, chip. food, chip chip down your road, you know? <laughs> like she knows how to walk walk her way. And people out there, because I put my daughter out there, I put my life out there, yes. and she dances and they're like, what kind of thing are you teaching your daughter? I'm like, listen, this, this, this is engraved in us. Yeah. This is my culture, this is what we do. We get down, we get low, we wind our waist, and we move on. You know what I'm saying? We're free spirits. So, so in terms of like people trying to come at you and tell you like what to do with your kids stuff, how do you handle that? I honestly I don't handle it. I continue living my life because it's all about being true to who I am. This is what I do and this is why you watch and you continue to come and leave comments. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And I'm just here just Was that exterior always there? Is that something you literally had to ingrain and like teach yourself along your journey and your path? Honestly, when I first started YouTube, like the negative comments did get to me, you know? We're human. But exactly. I just learned to just move past it because there's always gonna be haters in any industry, no matter what you do, there's gonna be people out there to bring you down, people who judge you, but at the end of the day, the people who are the strongest survive. You know what I'm saying? Like you just have you to have continue to. living your life and being true to who you are. We live in such a sensitive world nowadays. Definitely. It's so sensitive and obviously you have to watch what you say, but you have to still be true to what you believe in, you know? Um, I was actually watching something with Charlemagne a couple of days ago and he mentioned that um, if Tupac were alive now and this generation of people were to meet him, that they wouldn't like him. Yeah. And I was like, damn, that's really true because yeah. like from what I remember even as a child coming up and like watching music they views, that's what that era was about. Right. Being outspoken, being yeah. real, exactly. put your foot up on the couch, yeah. do whatever feels natural. Right. Do you agree with that? How do you feel like honesty versus like having a guard and feeling insulted, how do you feel like that's demolished kind of people's brand and made it on. harder? Okay, so what I take on this whole thing, there are certain things that I believe in, you know what I'm saying, but that I can't say you can't publicly, say you just can't say it. There are certain Why? things that you have to like, because people are just so sensitive, that's the world that we live in, you know, it Literally. takes like, unless you want your brand to be demolished, you it's know, so you're gonna put it all out there. There's certain things that people can't know, there's certain things that you just can't put out there, and that's just the way of life right now, and we live in a sensitive world. It sucks, but at the same time, it's like, what can you do? What can you really do? So it, we live in a politically correct world, like. It, but is it politically correct? I feel like you know what I mean? for the, if we're supposed to, to be an influencers and we're supposed to be breaking these airwaves and making that path and yeah. telling people, yo, like this is what the wave is. How how do we find that in between? How do you say yes? I'm 
Toya forever and I'm with my kids but I'm working my ways and this is what it is. We're happy happy. Like yeah. how how did you get to that point to be like you need to accept this, this is a brand? That's what it is. You know what? My brand is different. Like we're we get ratchet on my show, but I we are it. also <laughs> brand friendly. So brands, you know, wanna see it. Exactly. So we have that perfect balance. Like a lot of people on YouTube are struggling because they put like too much out there that brands don't want to work with them and I'm about making money and it, you know it's exactly. like building an empire that's what I'm here So what are the, some of the brands you work with like? Oh we've worked with so many brands Campers, Sprite, we work with you know um, Ancestry, DNA, we work with clothing brands yeah Do you feel like that's been a great thing for you to be able to kind of drop that guard but not drop it too much to let these brands in to get that support because I know Grant Cardone he spoke about like expanding and you can't you can't expect to be grow bigger if you're going to stay in the small business. So. Exactly. So in order for you to grow bigger, you have to be politically correct. But trying to okay, we put it most of it out there. Ninety yeah. percent of me is out there. Ten percent behind closed doors. You know Which what I'm is saying? fair. Which is fair. I don't think that you need to be one hundred percent out there. You know, you don't need to put everything out there. Adam and I go through issues that people don't even know about. And they don't need to and know. And they don't need to know. You know? Certain opinions that you may have about people or certain things, certain politicians, they don't everyone doesn't need to know what you truly feel all the time. So if you feel a certain way about something and you know it's gonna offend something, run up. <laughs> run up or yeah. Or keep keep your mouth shut or talk about it with people you trust. You so know? I love meeting women, especially beautiful black women and I find like in Toronto, personally even for me, it's been a hard thing to connect and just to get that reach out for people to understand that it's a genuine love. Like I'm genuinely happy to see us in these spaces. Have you felt that experience or do you feel that's been a thing for you in terms of getting in interactions with other women, especially women of color in Toronto? I honestly, I don't really attend so many events to okay. But even just in general, yeah. like on the road, like I'm Latoya Forever, I'm walking down the road, people recognize you, yeah. or they don't, like, when the black girls see you, are they doing like, I feel like this people are or? super genuine, they're always like approaching me, oh my gosh, Latoya, I love what you do, you're amazing, let's take a picture, let's take a selfie, like the haters don't approach me, and if they do, I would know, you know what I'm saying, because everyone like, you're super friendly. Okay. So I don't have any like terrible experiences with like unless people who follow me. Like I've had people follow me no to the way. doctors, follow me to grocery, that following me, insane. coming to my door, knocking on my door, talking about can you see can I see Samia? That you know, is those insane. people like do you have a security I have, team yet? I have boundaries, like yeah. you know? You have to. There are certain things that people should not do. If you see me on road, come say hi, but don't come to my doorstep. Major you know? <laughs> not go to yeah, the Toy Brothers doorstep. She wants peace, yeah. unless you're Santa Claus, yeah. anybody knocking, coming down the chimney shoot. Santa doesn't even come to my doorstep, it goes down my chimney, okay? So, in terms of your brand and um, working out and keeping your body healthy and fit and being a mom all at the same time, how do you do it? It's so hard. It's just all about balance. Super I literally cool. have to schedule everything. Monday, okay, it's working out, taking pictures for my fitness. Tuesday, it's taking the kids to like, you know, gymnastics or dance. Wednesday, it's, you know, there are a lot of my moms man, out there get my, get my and man. they want to stop relying on their family. They yeah. want to be able to be independent. They want to be able to go to school and still know that their kids are good and not have that stigma of leaving their kids with certain families or whatever the case is. What do you, what is your message to those young women still want to like push even though they have kids or they might be a single mom? Yeah. What is your message they, they out there? Daycare. Put your kids in daycare. <laughs> but but it's hard. Subsidies, 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 subsidy, there's no subsidies the out heavy. there. It is? The list is heavy. I've heard it's like a two to three year waiting list. But like, what is, like, if I if I was a, a woman with children and I was just on my own, maybe the father was in the future, like, what would you let me know? Give me words of encouragement. Can I do it? One hundred percent. You can do anything you put your mind to. You find time to do things that you truly want in your life. You know what I'm saying? When the kids are sleeping, that hustle. My kids sleep for two hours. You know how much things I get done during nap time? I get my makeup done. I take my shower. I check emails. I shoot videos. I cook. Two hours. You know? I know. Yeah. So, if, is there any last words that you want to let the people know from the paper? If you have and a, where can we find you? Even okay. though I found you. 
100%. If you have a passion and if you love something, you have to at least give it one year of true consistency. Like I'm talking about night and day, keep it consistent. Because when I first started, like I just knew that I wanted to just make people laugh and just put my life out there. I knew that I would have a following, you know what I'm saying? And I wanted to quit my job. That. I was super broke. Yeah, you, you feel that. And you people feel, take it as conceited, but no, you feel, feel that. You know like, yeah. what's for you, you yeah. know? You yeah. feel, you have that feeling. So I was like super broke, you know? And that's what inspired me to like go out there and get it, you know? You got so hungry. I got hungry. I was, I was hungry. You know what I'm saying? I was hungry <laughs> for some money. No, I'm just joking. No, but, but like, for real. That's, that's the realness. Yeah. And people try and front like, they don't want the money. Like, they're not hungry to do things in life and to get it. And they're embarrassed to say they don't have it. And how do I get to it? Yeah, you just have to turn your passion into profit. You know, I love to make people laugh. I, I love, love that. to share my journey. Turn your passion. Yeah. Into profit. Yeah, and if I can live life and my life and just be me and make money while doing it, why not? You know what I'm saying? If that's what anybody would want to do, you know? Well, you live your passion and make money, live it, doing it. What? You heard it first of the beautiful Latoya Forever. <laughs> I wish you all the best. I'll lose this. Thank Genuinely. You. Love to meet beautiful people, especially from my city, and hope to see you in the Of course. Thanks for having me.